Hey guys, Katie here, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about some books on my shelf. Savannah at the Pretentious English Major tagged me for the On My Shelf tag, and I have done it twice before, but I was never actually tagged, so I thought I should do it again. I asked for coordinates on Twitter, and I actually just filmed myself talking about a bunch of those books until I realized that most of them I've gotten since I started booktube and they were boring. So I appreciate all the coordinates. <laughs> But instead, I figured I'd talk about some books that I bought in the past couple of months. I haven't done a haul in a while, partially because I usually talk about the books that I buy in like TBRs and stuff like that. But also partially because as fun as hauls are to make, um, especially the one I did where it was just to music or whatever, I would love to do that again. Sometimes I worry about, you know, like consumerism on YouTube which is weird. I have five books that I have purchased in the last couple of months that I don't think I've talked about. So, I mean, stop me if I'm wrong. The first book I wanna talk about is Blue Nights by Joan Didion. Leanne from Literary Diversions uh, read this book. Actually, I think she read a different book by Joan Didion. Either way, I commented and I said, that sounds interesting and she told me I should read this book. So I bought it because I trust Leanne and she's wonderful. I really miss her videos. She's one of the sweetest people in the world and you should give her some love because she's great. I haven't read this yet, which is why you haven't heard of it if you watch my videos regularly. Anyway, this is a memoir, which I have not read many memoirs, but I'm interested in giving it a shot and always glad to read something that Leanne recommends because she has never failed me. The next book is one that I picked up in Books A Million when I was randomly browsing. Um, it's called The Mathematician's Shiva. It's a novel by Stuart Ross Dezer. As you can imagine, it's about a mathematician dying, a female mathematician, and um, her family kind of trying to cope. Uh, I was drawn to the cover because when you're in a bookstore and you're just looking, you are usually drawn to the cover. It's just really nice, like minimalist and interesting. Uh, but I did read good things about this book. Maybe I'll read it in December because I've been talking about it for months and I haven't got to it. You may remember a month or two ago that a couple of people on booktube, actually several people, were reading East of Eden by John Steinbeck. I read Of Mice and Men when I was in high school and that's about it. That's all that I have. I'm really interested in it. It sounds really appealing. A couple of awesome people were reading this book and I really wanted to join in and I ran out and I bought the book and then I didn't read it because that's what I do. One day I will get to this. I have I think five or six classics that I own and I really enjoy reading classics um, lately so I'll be reading this. The next book I actually do think I've mentioned but I love it too much not to mention again. It is the uh, novel of Zelda Fitzgerald by Therese Ann Fowler. I saw this in the bookstore a million times and I was just really excited about it because it sounds like a cool thing to read about. Fitzgeralds were interesting people and the 20s were fun and the 30s weren't so much fun but anyway I have heard so many good things about this book and I am very excited to read it one day. I don't know when though. I did start it and I was enjoying it. I just was actually supposed to be reading a different book. So I stopped and I went back to the other book I was reading because I'm trying so hard to finish the books I say I'm going to read, but it's nearly impossible. I believe the Marvelous Reading Room did, it was either a 30 second pitch or like a full review of this book and I will link it below when I find it. You should check it out, it was really great. And I had bought this book about a week before they posted that video. And then it was just like, oh, you've just given me a reason to read this book more than I already had. So they're fantastic. And the last book that I have recently acquired is I Am Malala. Of course, I'm sure you've heard of Malala. She's been making the news a lot lately and um, she seems like a really incredible person. When Malala won the Nobel Peace Prize recently, I was talking to Heather at A Logical Betty and she happened to own the book. And when I said that I'd really like to read it, she said she would send it to me. So this is one of the things that she sent to me, among many other cool things, including a letter that was like cut up into a puzzle and uh, a Wreck This Journal page that she wrecked for me. And 
a lot of other cool stuff. I don't know when I will read this, like most of the books that I have here, or all of the books that I own, that I impulsively bought. I don't know when I'm gonna read it, but um, I'm really interested in books like this. Um, a long time ago I read a autobiography um, about a woman in the Middle East who was in prison for many years, and it was really powerful. We've all been talking a lot lately about reading diversely, and it's always been important to me. Um, I have an interest in different cultures and places and people, and I definitely, you know, I care about what's going on in the world, so I try to keep myself informed. And I think reading books like this is one good way to do that, so. Anyway, I will put all the links below um, for the books that I talked about, the people that I talked about, and I will also <laughs> put below all the people who were lovely enough to give me coordinates that I didn't end up using. I'm sorry guys, you're wonderful. I love you all. And yeah, maybe sometime in the future I can do another on my shelf video when I have more books that I haven't talked about yet. <laughs> I need to tag people, but as per usual, I'm not prepared because honestly, I already filmed this video once, I'm doing it again. So um, if I can think of people to tag, I will put them below. And if I tag you, don't feel obligated because I know a lot of us have done on my shelf videos. So do it if you want to, don't do it if you don't want to. It's fine either way. I will see you guys later, bye.